Esters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, Basil Chapman here. This is Friday edition, the 9th of February. Uh, we're looking at the Dow. Uh, in this Tiger Technicians Hour, we're looking at the Dow, down 42 at 38,684. The high was 38,734, but the all-time high is 38,783. <clears throat> Just a uh, mere eye blink to the upside, and we can start to get to that new all-time high in leg D. If all of this week, meaning for the next uh, several hours till the 4 o'clock close, the Dow does not touch 38,784. We have made a peak A in the weekly chart. 14 weeks, the 15 week has not had the strength, at least so far, days young, to go that penny higher to continue leg A. And therefore, I would be looking at this and saying, there's now a really good chance. Look at this blue line, that's the on balance volume very overextended. Look at the blue line of the daily chart, on balance volume, very extended. But look at this, the nine period moving average is still over the 14. The bank D, the moving average convergence divergence is flat, but still positive. The stochastic is at 88% in the daily, 97.97 .97 in the weekly. When this is all finished, that stochastic will start to go down below 20%. But as long as it's holding and flat at 97%, that's really bullish. So what I'm looking at here is merely a shorter term digestive phase. And that digestive phase could in fact be, uh, could even turn out to be a couple of very severe down days. And then it's all done and we start to go sideways for a while. And then we come back again and start making new highs. But as it stands right now, um, it's that on balance volume that is saying, very often when it is this extended, you get some kind of a digestive phase. I'm just calling it a digestive phase. But if any time today, um, not just the Dow, if the Dow drops to about 120 points, that's the start of some kind of, at least the idea of a consolidation. But the S&P, I've got this as a leg E. Now I've got to double check to see uh, right there, that was Wednesday, the high was 5,040. Yesterday, the high was 5,000. Am I doing the right thing here? It was, oh, 4,999.89, then 4,040. Yeah, so this is a leg E to the upside. Oh, it could even be a, a Jim Rivinson restart. But we've already had a whole bunch of those. Look, one. To, to get three in a row, it is so rare. It's a, it's kind of an, it's an indication that there's more likely to be some kind of, let me just show you here, I had this, I'll put it back again, make it over there. Chapman Wave Instant Restart is within three bars after D. It pulls back and within three bars, it goes to a higher high. That means you've got an alternate, you don't have to use it, but there's an alternate count possibility. And um, so here we are um, at up 11.43 at 5,009.32. Really good action. And here the nine is over the 14, the price is over the nine. Bank is much stronger than in the Dow. Stochastic's at 95.14% in the daily chart. Uh, the on balance volume's overbought. The relative strength is actually underneath where it was. <clears throat> back in the January highs. So there's a little divergence there. The weekly chart has a spectacular move to the upside. Just one week to give you a peak A, and now we've continued higher. And um, all the technicals are good, but the on balance volume is telling you it's a little bit overbought, and we'll see what happens. If the, if the S&P, for whatever, you never know, but for whatever reason, suddenly turns down later in the day, Starts to trade in the 4,000 
a 992 area. That, I don't know what it'll take to do that, but it could happen. That'll be a big negative on the shorter term. But the weekly chart is still extremely positive, and it is a leg D in the monthly chart. Going to the QQQ, that's the trading vehicle for the NDX 100. Here we are trading at 44.66. Um, the high of the day, almost at the high of the day. And here I am calling it leg F. Could be an alternate count, but I don't need to do that just yet. This is an F. And the MACD is good, not as good as it was. The 9 is way over the 40. Stochastics at 93%. And actually, let me do this. And the QQQs, the weekly chart is in leg C, monthly is only in B. I'm going to go to the IWM because that shows a little bit more strength today, up a dollar oh five, up 0.53 percent better than the other indices. 197.16, up a dollar three. Um, if, as I said before, in the up in the market update at 10 o'clock, um, if it's able to get to the 201, 202 area for the first time, it could say, you know what? Now we're going to see some kind of a rotation to see the um, small caps, the Russell 2000, the iShares, start to, I wouldn't say lead, but at least take some uh, precedence in terms of it being the weaker link, now being perhaps one joining the stronger group. And if that occurs, we might even see for the very first time in quite a while, that the SMH is the semiconductors at an all-time high of 201.75 right now, a uh, very quick D to E in the weekly chart and at least in the monthly chart, we could start to see maybe some digestive action. Let's just do this right now. NVIDIA, one of the great semiconductor companies, um, a low today of 702, a high of 710.92. It's trading at 710. Let me just double check here. Yeah, yep, new all time high. Very good action. Um, I want you to look at, I wrote down here, LRC. Look at this weekly chart. Now, the way this is acting, because it's in a leading position, in a leading sector, this could turn into a huge kind of flag, maybe you make a U shaped pattern as it, if it, when it finally digests. Let's go to LRCX. Uh, there it is, LRCX coming up. It's up 18 at 882, LAM Research. So it's had a whole bunch of uh, round numbers, uh, nothing yet today. No, what am I saying? It opened at 880. I, I just can't believe what's going on here. It's almost this desperation of fund managers saying, I've, I've got to get in. I just, I've got to get in. What I did want to show you is, um, I'm going to go to SNPS. Oops, don't type it there, type it here. Yeah, S-N-P-S. Uh, this is, uh, look at this, high, high of 582 today. This is uh, synopsis, uh, AI area, uh, round number, all time high. Got it's at 579.22, but the high was 582, round number high. And I wanted to show you a couple of others here. Look at URI as we go to the break. URI is the rental. I mean, this is the, the real economy. In 12 sessions, it had seven round numbers. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, just a couple of stocks that I would like to look at. This is Arista Networks. Uh, it's straight to the outside, it's fantastic. It's trading 283.37 right now. But wait a minute. In the last two weeks or so, three weeks, it's had one, two, three, four, five round numbers. And today it opened at 282. Let me put that in here. 282 open, and it's trading higher than that. So that's Arista Networks, A-N-E-T, we were just looking at before I went to the break, synopsis. Um uh, that's that's at uh, 582 round number open. Uh, you know this doesn't happen infrequently. Uh, frequently it happens very infrequently, and to me it's just telling me a story of uh, the pressure that fund managers are having right now to get in to get in place just to get there and to at least start a position. And then I was talking about URI. Well, URI is. I mean, this is really the U.S. economy, right? URI is a United Rentals. It's in everything. And um, over the last two weeks or so, it's at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven round numbers. Um, and it's just telling me that there's a good chance that a lot of these stocks will be under those round numbers later in February, maybe early March. And that's just the digester phase. And that just says to me, um, these stories that are coming out for SPG, what I was asked about, SPG is Simon Properties, we looked at it the other day. Uh, it did make a new uh, recovery high, not an all-time high, recovery high. So that makes that peak C1, C2. Remember in the Chapman Wave methodology, technical Friday today, so we can talk about the technicals that are involved. If you go to, if the price goes to a, a high, not an all-time high, or just a high, and then pulls back, and then retests it, 
but it just fails to make it, or it does it exactly, but it doesn't go by one penny above it, that becomes a peak C1, C2. Now, very often, it gets then it gets retested, and you could get the D, but that's where, and this is what I'm looking at for the Dow, that in the Dow, there's a chance that we're making right now a short-term top with a peak C1, and maybe a peak C2 right here. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying that's a possibility that is there. And then you have a little bit of a digestive phase. So I wanted to cover that. Then I had a question about, and I have to apologize if you're not, if you've sent me an email and I, I haven't read it. I, I might have missed it. I'm, I'm working remotely and uh, it's making it a little difficult to cover my different uh, emails, etc. So XPEV is down at 12 cents at 8.31. I've been saying for a while, you know, the Chinese, there might be some Chinese stocks, fabulous stocks. I'm just saying I would not get involved with, with, with China, with the China market. Rather... Um, You've got enough here to, to you know, concern yourself with. So just stick with the United States market. If the FXI stuck in the pattern, I call the dreaded H or the H going to the lowercase M formation. It's in the lower range. It's real tough. Then I was asked if I could look at BBAI. I haven't had a chance to actually read what the question was. Oh, look at that. Up almost 10%, up 17 cents at 1.90. BigBear.ai holding, uses AI for scaling and machine learning. I've been looking at this is on my list of, of watch stocks in the, in the streamer list. That's stocks that are under 10. So it's having a really good move today. The nine period moving average hasn't crossed positive, but the MACD has just for the first time in a while crossed positive. This was up in the 230s, then it was down at the 160, uh, 160s. And here it is at 1.90. So now let me just see what the question is. Statement. Question or statement. Uh, Basil, please look at BBI and daily peak C well over overhead and trying to turn up using speed resistance lines from 12.28 to 1.19. Bottom, today is trying to break through uh, overhead resistance. If so, it could be a quick March to leg D. Okay, let me just go back there. So, look, that big C, in a sense, is almost aborted, not technically because it hasn't gone under the starting point way down in the 115-ish area uh, back in November, uh, late October, early November. <clears throat> but what I would anticipate, this is a new, I'm calling this a gray leg A and a gray leg B. I call it great because it's underneath the previous um, uh, high of importance. Whoops, that peak B. Uh, this is peak B right now, leg B. Uh, that peak C, but that hasn't really officially uh, been discontinued by going under the starting point. So this is still active. But under it, and I, I change the color. It's easy for me to do that here in Trade Station. So I go to gray, gray A, gray B. And the reason I do that is that <clears throat> I don't even have a buy signal yet. The stochastic is still uh, only at 33% on balance firms, quite weak. On the MACD finally turned up. Um, the nine period hasn't crossed positive. It's it's very close to going to a buy signal, and then I'll say to go to a buy mode. Probably need to move into the 198 area. So it's at 180 right nine right now. <clears throat> Yes, this is very good action. Weekly charts that, that nine period moving average has not turned down to pink, gone negative um, in all this time since it's pulled back from that peak B. That peak B is active. I like it. But what I am going to say, um, there are a couple of these stocks that are very low priced in the tech area. I'm calling this tech area, even though it's basically AI. <clears throat> um, what you want to see is 180. A 180 on a closing basis, needs to hold. If it, if it closes under that, it's going to have to restart this whole move to the upside. And it's done it before, peak A, peak B, and then it comes down. So what is really important is that it holds steady in the 180s. I'm going to make it a little different. I'm going to say 174. 174, if it goes under 1.74, that's negative. Right now, it's still positive. Um, and I am going to say to you the 200 pre-moving average of 1, 
94 is very important as resistance. It was strong resistance before. So that's what it needs to clear. If it clears that, closes the, in the twos at any point between now and let's call it Tuesday. I, I, going to Wednesday is a little too long. But Tuesday, that'll be really positive. That's what you're looking for. Next question came in. Let me write it down here. Um, yes, we wanted to look at the XLF. The XLF is the S&P financial sector uh, spider fund. It's the X, XLF. There it is. Um, it's gone sideways. We're also looking at Bank of America. Uh, it's holding okay, except today the 9 p.m. moving average just flipped to pink uh, negative, but the price is holding okay. And we're looking at, um, I wanted to go to JP Morgan, go from the kind of weakest to the strongest. JP Morgan is, ah, they all look the same, just going sideways in this almost triangle fashion. So what's really important is the XLF is holding well. If the um, if the real estate and the whole area that has to do with real estate was tanking and the financials were tanking, I think you would see gold moving high and that would make me real worried. But at this point, point they're holding well, so I just want to look at GBTC as we go to the break. That's the Bitcoin very strong move up uh, to 42, up one and a half. I'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Tech, Christian We're looking at GBTC. This is the Bitcoin Investment Trust. 
Um, this is very two big gaps to the upside at 42.17, up 3.64 percent. The previous high was back in January, uh, right here, and it was on the 11th of January at 43.50. We're really close to that. And let me just look at Bitcoin itself, BTC. Bitcoin, uh, oh, what a nice move. A, B, it's the same thing. It's almost the same. And it's trading up 1,755 <clears throat> at 47,510, up 3.85%. Yes, this does look very good. And I uh, wonder if it'll extend leg C in February. Uh, that'll be very good. So in Bitcoin, the actual continuous contract of Bitcoin, we're looking at a high that was made back the same day, January the 11th, of 49700 So it's a little bit of way to go, just uh, three, $400. It does it in a couple of seconds. Uh, this is like same as the uh, GBTC. This is very, very strong, very good. A, B, C. Now, should I do this? Yes, I'll do that. Let me just do it with the GBTC. I'm going to do a trend wave left side, right side price time match. This is a technique that I developed years ago. And it goes like this. You take the high right there and you do a measured move. You, to the low itself, at this particular point, it's impossible. To, it cannot do it from the low point, from the high that was made to the low. It can't have the same number of bars to the upside because it's already extended sideways. So let's just see if it's able to go to this peak right here. And that says by Monday or Tuesday, there's a chance that it could stand higher. Yep, let's go there and go from that there. New parallel. Click to make it green. I love the colors. Actually, with a black background instead. And we're going to go to right there. Okay, it says by February the... 14th, if correct, we should go from that low right there. There it is. Okay. February the 14th. By February the 14th, there should be a test of the uh, 44,000, I say 700 level. Okay, we've got a corner. I'm going to go right there. Yeah, sorry, 4350 level. Good. Okay, let me just take one second. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let me go here. Right, you're working with one. Computer is a little different. Uh, I'm going to go there. It is. So the question is, uh, we've got Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, how are you? I'm doing well, Basil. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Just out of my milieu because uh, not in the office, out of town. So uh, what are we looking at? <clears throat> well, the stock is a firm holding. I don't have any position. Somebody called into Tom's show. Uh, yesterday afternoon, they're going to have their earnings after the close, and I just thought you might be interested. I'll <clears throat> excuse me, try to send you maybe a screenshot of it, or you could probably find it yourself. But if you look at the after market, right before the earnings came out, it's roughly like right around 4:30. It shows up good on my five-minute chart on ThinkOrSwim, but it hit a 55 round number high before you know, it came I out, actually, and it made a I... uh, 37 uh, round number low after they came out. I didn't see the low, but I just happened to glance. Um, I had it um, on a screen for the um, price. I didn't get the actual charting of the aftermarket. I happened to see the 55. I can't remember if I wrote it down or not. And I thought, isn't that a, I, I just I don't know if you've ever seen this. Now, I've, I've followed round numbers for decades. I mean, for ever since I, I really got into the, uh, watching the stocks in, in great detail. And, um, and one of the reasons is that I charted the Dow um, on a daily basis, going back to uh, a book I found that had the data from um, 1920. So I did hand charting on engineer paper, and I found that when there was a 0% change, that's a, 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 um, it, using when it was down in the... Uh, 40s and 60s and 80s, that's the Dow. 
it was very easy to do a 0% change. But as it got to the 1990s and 2000s, 0% changes were very difficult. But at the same time, I used to, because of this, I would note every once in a while the Dow would make a zero zero. It would have whatever the number was and a zero zero. And I thought, that is incredible <laughs> to do that. Anyway, so I've watched it and I just, this is extraordinary. And I, because it's extraordinary, I can't just project out and say, oh, this means X. I can only say that from the from all the, all the um, things that I look at, it is very unusual to have this number. And every day, anyone who talks, I mean, just even this morning I showed four uh, in the last, uh, you know, couple of hours. So, yes. So your question is? Oh, I just thought that was interesting just because you've been talking about them. And <clears throat> like I said, the fact that it hit at, at both the high and the low. And the low, yes. Was uh, kind of interesting. So I'll, I'll make sure I get a, I'll get a screenshot of it and I'll text it to you. So can see okay, very good. good. Yeah, but the, the, other, <laughs> the other thing, Brent, is that um, it's really what happens afterwards. The one consistent thing that I found is if immediately after the round number, price drops quite sharply, then that round number becomes almost like a repellent. It just It's very difficult very quickly for that stock to get or, or symbol to get back to that round number. So that's really the significance. But when we get this number, I, I, I can only, maybe in April or May, I'll be able to look back and say, oh, that's what it means. But at this particular point, it's just a kind of, for me, it's a, it's a warning. And the only way I can interpret it is more psychologically, and of course, I'm not a psychiatrist, but uh, to say that there are so many fund managers that are just saying, I'm missing out, I'm missing out, I've just got to get it. Bam, they put in, it's just so speedy to put it in at 50 or 54 or 1,330, you know, rather than put in those um, fractions. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. But <laughs> but the most importantly for uh, a firm, a firm is down 5 of 43.98, that 200 period moving average in the weekly chart has become a repellent. And every time it gets close, it gets, it gets pushed away. So the most important thing for this stock over the next, I'm going to give it a full two weeks, is not to break 35. It's at 44 right now. Breaks 35, it's in a different ball game altogether. But right now, it's just, I, it, did the news come out yesterday, you say? It did. It was after the market closed. Okay. Well, the response is not that positive. It was very close to making a confirmation. All it needed to do was just a little bounce and would have got to the high that was made on the uh, 27th of December of 52.48. So, yeah, this is quite significant. Hey, Brent, it's great to hear from you. Thank you very much for uh, observing that. And uh, funny because I did see it and I, I forgot about it until you mentioned it. But I think at the time I did write it somewhere. Thank you very much for calling. Have a great weekend. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I had spoken about this yesterday with what stock was it where it had gapped up and I said you just got to wait um, to see what happens the following session. So uh, Disney, uh, oh, yeah, in fact I think it was Disney. So now we've got an inside bar. It didn't take out the low of yesterday's trading at 108.89 down a dollar 65. That's not a big deal because it's still way above where it was just three days ago in the 90s. Um, so I had this on my list for subscribers. I really liked the action, but it was a mystery stock to me in the sense that I, I didn't know what category it would be in. Uh, is it movies? What entertainment? Is it theme parks? Is it uh, streaming? I, I, it's, it's very complex. So I kind of stepped aside. The way it held the 200 period moving average, and it was like a magnet, couldn't get rid of that around about 90, 92 or so. It just hugged, hugged it, and then suddenly it started breaking up, and it was holding the, it walked the nine period exponential moving average. I love that. Then it had a round number at 95, and it was holding. <clears throat> and I thought, gee, if the earnings, there's so many complicated things going on. I love I the idea of Disney because what I'm looking at is in the Dow, you've had a kind of a recycling like IBM. The old IBM is now the brand new IBM. Just it's morphed into a, a, a cutting edge technology, great business. And I'm thinking to myself, so slowly we see one by one, is Honeywell going to do that? Is, uh, you know, Disney, is Walgreens, Wal Walgreens? Wool green, what are they called? Boots, uh, WBA. Is that going to do it? That's going to be very important. Well, the earnings was, the, and they love the report and it's doing well. Now, what do you do in a stock like this? It's at 108. It's only um, about 10 points off the high that it was at just uh, recently. But that makes it really tough because you've got this entire gap. These big gaps eventually do get filled, but you could see if there is a move above yesterday's high in Disney, it's technical Friday, so I'm going to become a little technical, 112.77, if it closes in the 114s in the next week, that's just another cup of tea altogether. Why? Because 113.07 is the 200-period moving average. Disney 
didn't even know there was such a thing as a 200 period moving average. The last time it was there, my system is just a little slow because um, it's got a little clogged up. I, I didn't want to restart it when I'm out of town. Um, so that 144.46, this was the first week of April of 2022. That's the last time it even touched that line. So that just says to me it's become a magnet line, but you need to give it a little room to keep testing it. So I, I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to say, person who asked me, I know that you have a very longer, a much longer term than most people in looking at your portfolio. Why not do this? Start Disney at 109.05 right now, but it's really just, it's not even a small position, it's a nibble. You're just going to get your foot in the door because it's going to give you a real good sense of what's going on. And I would do this as a trading position initially. Why do I say trading position? Because if it starts to slip under 105, you've already, that's a 4%, 4 almost a 4 5% loss that you're in. Uh, it, it just makes it, it's, it's difficult to handle for some people. I'm just going to say in your case, I think that starting it here at 109, just a little nibble, realizing that not only is the chance of it hitting 105, but it could give back this huge gain because I heard a report um, on Disney and the guy said they're just misinterpreting everything. Now, I have no idea if he's right or wrong, but I'm just saying be prepared that a gap like this, some of, some of it should be filled. So nibble here at 109. Uh, you could wait. I, mean, I don't see a difference between 109 or 108 or 107 because it's just a starter position. It's how you add to it. I would, I'd be kind of remiss in saying that to have another position, um, it, it really depends on the character of the stock. For instance, if it gets to 110.50 um, in the next two days, I prefer it if it's Monday at the latest. Then I'm saying to you, you know what? There's a chance it's going to retest the high, and the high was 112.77. Well, if you have a, a secondary trading position from your core, that's this 109 or 8 area, that means you can now add to it with a slightly bigger position and treat that as a trading position. Just have a raise stop on it. If it takes out the high, that's fabulous action. Even it's going to try and push away the weekly 200 period moving edge. If it fails, but this, I'm saying to you, if it goes to say 100, I'm going to make it 111.25. Just add a little bit more. And on that position, I would have a two point stop. I think that's reasonable. And then give me a yell, we'll look at it together. But yes, longer term, I think this is really positive. It's the, the weekly is, is in leg C, the monthly is in leg B. I think it will be going higher, but it's handling it right now that's important. And that's the way I would do it. Our next question came in. Oh, is XPV, XPEV, sorry, telling us that it's starting a. Um, a low designs and develops for factor smart EVs. Each pen uh, XPEV is the symbol. EX XPENG is the name Chinese company. I just I don't know. I just find it really difficult. For instance, we were looking at BYDDF bid. That's a um, Chinese company. Look, it pulled back today. Then it, it had a green candle. It's now down 0.08. It's struggling. You know what I would say? If you're thinking, and I know that person asked me, follows this China, the Chinese area, FXI. Let me just do FXI for a moment. That's the large cap uh, China um, fund. Yeah, that's got the lowercase h to lowercase m. So this is very specific. Okay, what I'm going to say to you is, is this the low? I'm going to say, I cannot say it's a the low. I don't even know if it's a low right now. But what I am going to say to you, at 8.34, if you're going to get in, the percentage is completely different. It's got that gap to fill and then the low. Most, the, the, the most recent multi-year low is down at 7.80. Um, I'm going to say to you, why didn't you do this? I know that you also use options. Think 
as an option. But in the meantime, if you want nibble at 8.35, but you've got to prepare, be prepared for it. Over the weekend, anything can happen. But if you can put in a stop and the stop is able to be um, activated over the weekend or overnight, when they start Monday, which is earlier, we're still asleep, um, 7.77 would be my stop. And that's the only way I would do it. I, but I'm, I'm saying I don't think it's, it's actually the law. Let me just get to the questioner here. Oh, wait a minute. What have we got? We've got... Uh, I'm looking here. Oh, we've got John in Philly. John in Philly, how are you? I'll be right back. I want to look at NPH. I was looking at that as well. I'll be right back with John in Philly as soon as we return. ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. 
Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, in this final segment, I've got a whole bunch of things. I don't want you to go down. It's now up at NPH. I believe this is the one I was looking at yesterday. I was discussing this candle, and the candle is <clears throat> waiting for data there. Said if it closes underneath the low of three days ago, that's going to be negative. It can go under, but it's going to close in. So, end phase energy, is energy batteries, and natural gas, they do all sorts of things in the energy area. I like this. The question is is this the low that was made at 7349 back in October? I think it's a really, it's very close to saying it's the low, but I'm calling it a very important low at this point. I can't call it the low yet uh, in the weekly chart or the monthly chart, but it's an important low. But I would just say if at any point it's at 119 in February, if it closes, even if it goes up, but if it's able to get to the Whoa, it never changed. You know, I'll follow this up on on Monday. If it's over 123, that's good. Question came in Microsoft, which we own from 338. It's trading at 418. This is really good. Folks, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Steve Rhodes. And uh, great programming today. Have a wonderful weekend and check out.